behind the children of Israel was the Pharaoh army. They were advancing and crossing unto them. And in front of them was the sea. And they were stranded and astounded. They were amazed. They were so terrified because Pharaoh was advancing to get them back to him. And in front of them was the sea. And God asked Moses, what are you holding Moses? What are you holding Moses? And God, Moses told God, I'm holding a stick. Sometimes you find yourself in a situation the devil has put, or situation have come in your life that is very, very astounding. A time of distress, a time of problem, a time of uh, that you have no solution. If you reach your end, the Bible says joy come in the morning, though a sorrow may last for a night. Sometimes problem can be too much. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego could not know what to do, but they decided to hold family to their faith. Daniel found himself in a trap of people who were worshipping other gods. The same was Elijah. Here were the children of Israel. They had been rescued by God and delivered from the hands of Pharaoh. Behind them was the army, and in front was the sea. And Moses asked, was asked by God, what are you holding, Moses? And he said, I'm holding a stick. Strike the water. And God made the water come apart, and he made the way in the Red Sea. What are you holding today? What is that situation that is in front of you and back of you? What is this situation that is making you see darkness? You can't see where you're going. You can't see tomorrow. You can't see beyond today. Things are getting in a fix. You don't know what to do. You don't see your vision of life. You don't see your calf life. You don't know where you're going to end. What is that you're holding? What is that little word of God you know? The Bible says, Thou shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. The little truth of the word of God you know, it can save you. Remember Jesus told the devil that you don't, a man shall not live by bread alone, but in every living word of God. A man shall not live by bread alone. When the devil was trying to test Jesus to eat, to turn stone to bread, using his weakness of fasting for 40 days. Sometimes you may find yourself in a fix. Mother and Mary could not know what to do. Jesus was ready to come and save Lazaro from the sickness. Lazaro died and was buried for four days. But Jesus resurrected Lazaro. Jesus can resurrect any dead situation in your life. If he could resurrect somebody who had died and buried four days and already rotten, Jesus can revive any situation in your life that is dead. Our God is God of revival. He's a God of rejuvenation. He's a God of restoration. The Bible says in Isaiah 40, 31, that those who trust upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like an eagle. They shall learn and never be worried. They shall walk and never faint. What is that situation? And what are you holding Moses? And he struck the water and the children of Israel could cross the Red Sea. Sometimes things can be hard. Things can be... You can find yourself fenced by the enemy. The Bible says in the last days, the saints shall be surrounded by the army of the enemy, knowing that this time the dissolution of Israel will be near. Whatever you have, the little word of God you know can save you. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Moses struck the water, and God made the way for the children of Israel to cross over. The Bible says in Isaiah 40, uh, 35, the Bible says in Isaiah 40, Sorry, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 35, verse 10, that the redeemer of the Lord shall cross over. They shall return to Jesus. God shall make his name close to him and come back to him. The little word of God, you know, what you are holding can make you cross over and defeat the enemy. The situation can call. God can revive your situation. Can set your, God can change your setback to a comeback. He can turn your river to rejuvenate, to be a, a stream of river in the desert. God can revive that situation that is dead in your life. He can resurrect the insurrection as well. What are you holding, Moses? I'm holding a stick. Strike the water. God made the way, despite finding themselves trapped in the face of army and behind them with child and guns, and in front was the water. God do undoable. May you be blessed. As knowing that whatever little thing you have, the little word of God you know can save you. A man was old, the 
book of Ecclesiastes and save a city because of little knowledge of wisdom he had. The little word of God can save you from the deception of the enemy. These are the days of deception. Be blessed.